Hey y'all, it's Ann from What's Up Family Home. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a grocery haul for you. And this one is a good one because I don't ever usually buy this much groceries at one time, but we just came back from a 10 day trip to the beach. Then this weekend we went to an apple festival that's in our town and the, the North Carolina State Fair. So we've been busy and we haven't had time to grocery shop. So I had to go and stock up on some things that we're gonna need because we're out of everything because I took half the stuff to the beach with me. So I'm going to show you what I got. It is from Walmart and from Aldi. So Walmart's over here. So I'll go ahead and stop first, start here first. And this grocery haul is part of the monthly grocery haul collab that is hosted by Tiffany at Small Town 6 and Jessica from Jessica My Rose. And it's a huge collab. So I know if you love grocery hauls, you will love these. So I will have the link down below and I'll also have Jessica and Tiffany's channel link down below. So let's start over here at Walmart. All right, I'm gonna start over here. This is some puff corn, my sister-in-law. Well, we have a big family vacation. So lots of nieces, nephews, sister-in-laws, brother-in-laws, everybody comes. So she made this for us and we loved it. So I'm gonna make this for a video, a different video, but I had to have some puff corn and you also use some white chocolate. And I'm gonna add some other things to it. It is so good. So be sure to watch out for that video. Great for Halloween. And I got some M&Ms, uh, some peanut M&Ms. Got Reese's Pieces, white baking chips is what I'm gonna use with that. I've got elbow macaroni because they finally have them in stock and I wanna stock up with my pasta. I'm trying to just stock up a little bit at a time. You know, the holidays are coming up, so I wanna make sure I go through my inventory and see what I have and go stock up and just buy a couple things every day instead of going and buying everything at once. And that's a lot of money because this was a lot of money. This was $150 and it's really not a whole lot if you look at it, but I've got some hot dog buns. I've got some hot dogs that we brought back from the beach and I'm gonna make those. So I just got some buns. I've never seen these before. These are onions, onions. <laughs> And they were like a dollar and 60 some cents. So I thought I would try those. I love onions. Y'all know if y'all watch my channel any. I love this Parmesan cheese. It doesn't have the cellulose powder in it like the other ones do. If you've seen mine before, I don't like to buy that because it's basically sawdust. So these are always sold out and they're, they went up a dollar. So I went and went ahead and got two of them to stock up. Aldi was out of my waters, the lemon sparkling water, so I had to get a LaCroix, and those are pretty expensive. There's there's only eight in here, and I pay the same amount for 12 at Aldi. I got some corn on the cob for the boys to have like a quick lunch. I got some broccoli cuts. I've got some cream of mushroom soup. They didn't have cream of chicken at Aldi, but I just went ahead and got one of these, stocking up for the holidays. And they're the same price, so I went ahead and got that one there, and I'll get some of those, the other ones from Walmart, and you'll see that. All right, I got some of these Gar Gardettos, the garlic rye chips. Holidays coming up with Christmas. I love to make Chex Mix, and these are really good in the Chex Mix, so I picked those up just in case they disappear because I had to have that in Chex Mix. I had to have that every year. I've got some whole wheat bread. I got some avocados from Walmart too, and I'm gonna try and make some avocado toast for breakfast. So I'm gonna try that, see if I like it. I don't know if I like it or not, but I like I like avocados. So we'll see if that works. And then I'm gonna get some, I forgot to get it, the everything but bagel seasoning and put that over the top. I got some cucumbers. I got some thick sliced bacon. We like that thick sliced bacon. And I Bought some when we were at the beach and everybody enjoyed it. So that's really good. Even though it's really regular size bacon, nowadays it the thin sliced is, I don't know, it's just not edible. So you have to get thick sliced bacon just to get regular bacon. That's not, you know, real thin. Got some corn chips for Doug's lunches. I got a pineapple. I want to cut that up and keep some fruit and vegetables in the refrigerator so I don't have to eat, you know, some good snacks, not just junk food. I got some honey nut O's. Those are Doug's favorite. I got some French onion soup. I made some French onion chicken and it was so good. And that was a part of Croctober. 
So if you haven't watched that video, I will link that video down below. That was so good, and I can't wait to make it with some pork chops. It wasn't the best looking dish, but it was delicious. So I will, I will uh, be stocking up on these for sure. I got some bananas. I got the cream of chicken soup. They had that at Walmart, so I went and picked that up. I got some roasted hummus, roasted garlic hummus. I got sugar cookies. I was going to make something that I saw on TikTok, and I was looking at a, it was that and the angel food cake. The angel food cake was like twice the price of all the other cake mixes, so I didn't get it. But that will be good for the holidays anyway, and maybe I can find a cheaper box of angel food cake. I got some oats and honey granola. Oh, wait. That is from Aldi. So let's see, I got some, let's finish with Walmart first. I got Doug some sandwich meat, some buffalo chicken for his lunches. I got this pork sausage, Gwaltney, he likes this one. He likes it better than the Jimmy Dean, so I always get that. All right, so that was from Walmart and that was $80. And I did get a big pack of water, so, but they didn't have the, gallon waters. I wanted those, but I just got the bottled water, the Walmart brand. So that was 80. It was like $80 and change. It was, I just can't believe that little bit was $80. Everything in that store has went up. All right. So let's move along to Aldi. I have been getting one of these cans of yams every time I go in there because they're so good and they're way better than the Bruce's. And uh, they don't sell them, I guess, during the summer. So I'm going to go ahead and keep those on stock because they're so good. Trying to fill up my prepper pantry, just like with those chicken, chicken soups and French onion soups. And I wanted to get some more meat back there in the prepper pantry. So I got some of this cooked ham. It was $3 and something. There was, there was one that was similar at Walmart and it was over five. Got some of this. Aldi brand Velveeta. It's still 50 cents cheaper than Walmart. So I went ahead and picked that up so I could stock up on that. Got the oats and honey for granola. The boys love granola and yogurt. Got some lettuce. The baby bellas were, were a dollar 99 cents. So I got three of those. Got some zucchini. Wish my wish they were out of my garden, but I just couldn't get any, any to grow past the early spring. So I got three of those. I got some baby spinach. I got some sweet potatoes. I got marshmallows. Stocking up the prepper pantry back there and getting some marshmallows. I need that for the holidays. So I'm trying to get everything bought up because we love Rice Krispie treats around here. And especially during the holidays at Halloween and Christmas and Thanksgiving. I got some cashews. I got another can of pumpkin, Aldi pumpkin. I got some milk. I got a pack of ham. I got some of the organic apple juice for the boys. I got some whole milk vanilla yogurt. I got a bag of potatoes, $5.99. I think they're $10 at Walmart, so I went ahead and picked that up. Their cream cheese at Walmart has went up too, so I went and got the Aldi brand for $1.59. Some blue cheese. I love some blue cheese dressing and some crumb and put crumbles on that too. It's really good. These grapes were on sale for 90, 93 cent or 95 cent a pound. So I got some of those and those are huge, but they're not all that great when I tasted it. I got some cilantro. I got some Colby Jack and mild cheddar cheese. So I think that's all from Aldi. That was $65. So not a whole lot for $65, I'm telling you, but y'all, I almost went back out the door and didn't see that I had some stuff left in my bag. I got Doug some kosher dill spears because he has been craving pickles and they didn't have them at the state fair like they usually do. I got those from Walmart. I got these from Aldi, a chicken gravy, a brown gravy, and a turkey gravy just because they were 50 cent and I don't know if I needed them or not. Just put in the prepper pantry. And I also found these in a bag and if I'd have left those there for a couple more hours, they would have exploded and scared me to death. <laughs> I got two of these eight packs of biscuits so, and I'm glad I saw them before I walked out the door. All right, that's my Walmart and Aldi haul. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I will have Jessica and Tiffany's channel linked down below in the description box. 
I hope y'all have a blessed day and I'll see y'all in the next video.